Peace to everybody, back with another video. This is a breaking news. Trump moves to ban TikTok, WeChat from U.S. pressuring China. I guess so. Trump is pressuring China to ban, um, to ban TikTok and WeChat from the U.S. And of course, as you can see, here is um, Donald Trump himself. President Donald Trump signed a pair of executive orders prohibiting U.S. residents from doing any business with TikTok, WeChat, or the apps Chinese, Chinese owners beginning 45 days from now, citing the national security risk of leaving Americans' personal data exposed. Yes, yeah, so he signed a pair of um, executive orders pro prohibiting U.S. residents from doing any business with TikTok uh, and also WeChat or the or the apps Chinese owners beginning 45 days from now. So anything that comes from China, he doesn't want nothing to do with them over here because they because they're Chinese spying app and they and they take your personal data. They use it for face recognition and they turn it against you, literally. The move. Concise with Trump's push for the sale of TikTok, the popular video app owned by ByteDance Ltd., to an American company, and it comes a day after Secretary of State Mike Michael Pompeo urged U.S. businesses to remove Chinese apps from their stores. The measure threatens pen penalties on any U.S. resident or company that in engages in any transactions with TikTok, WeChat, or their owners after the order takes effect. Yes, yeah, so the move coincides with Trump's push for the sale of TikTok, the popular video app owned by ByteDance Ltd. Um, it is also to an American company, and it comes a day after Secretary of State Michael Pompeo urged U.S. businesses to remove Chinese apps from their stores. So any Chinese apps that are in the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store, they got to be removed immediately. Um, to, um, the measure threatens penalties on any U.S. resident or company that engages in any transactions with TikTok, WeChat, or their owners after the order takes effect. Yeah, so after the order takes effect, if they don't do it, then there's going to be penalties on the owners of these Chinese apps because, you know, every, anything that comes from China, it's all bad. And so now these apps, they are spying apps. They check your data. They save your data. And they use it against people so this is why they need it for face recognition and plus also they use it for human trafficking as well the mobile application may also be used for disinformation campaigns that benefit the chinese communist party trump said in the order released thursday by the white house the data collection through TikTok threatens to allow the chinese communist party access to America's personal and proprietary information, potentially allowing China to track the locations of federal employees and contractors, build dossiers of personal information for blackmail and conduct cor corporate espionage. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, so the mobile application may also be used for disinformation campaign so anything that goes on there they'll remove it they say oh it's fake even though you're telling the truth but they'll remove it saying oh it's fake news that benefit the chinese communist party trump said in the order released thursday by the white house so that's what it was said by the white house when it was ordered or when the order released um, the data collections through TikTok threatens to allow the Chinese Communist Party access to America's personal and property information. In other words, potentially allow China to track the locations of federal employees and contractors. They build dossiers 
or personal information for blackmail and conduct corporate espionage as well so if you have TikTok, wechat get it off your phone now because this is what they're doing now because it's 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 um it's collecting your data through TikTok, also even WeChat. So you might as well get rid of them immediately. TikTok and WeChat representatives didn't immediately respond to requests for comment. Of course, they're not going to respond to a request for a comment because they don't because they know they're going to lie their butts off and say, "Oh well, we didn't." Oh no, get it all. No, they need to remove it from the Play Store and remove it from the Apple Store as well. WeChat is the messaging software developed by China's Tencent Holdings LTE or LTD, I'm sorry, that has evolved into an all-purpose app that allows people to use it for payments, e-commerce, and more. The app is one of the most popular in the world with more than 1 billion users. Yeah, well, those 1 billion users are going to be losing that chat, be losing that app. All right. WeChat is the messaging software developed by China's Tencent Holdings LTD that has evolved into an all-purpose app and that allows people to use it for payments. So, but still... Anything that comes from China, do not trust them because they are not allowed here. And this is why Donald Trump wants to ban anything that comes from China because they have the CCP over there that it controls everything over here in the U.S. while they're controlling everything over there in China as well. Tencent is one of China's largest tech company. Its chief executive officer, Pony Ma, is among the many business leaders who serves as a delegate to the National People's Congress, China's rubber stamp parliament. Yes, yeah, so Ten Tencent is one of the China's largest tech companies over there in China. Um, its chief executive officer, Pony Ma, is among the many business leaders who serves as a delegate to the National People's Congress. Tencent shares fell as much as 1.5% in morning trading. The offshore yuan weakened as much as 0.27%, the most since July 22nd to 6.9%. Six two four a dollar says so it has been falling down with um the stuff um the trading because they know that Donald Trump is going to ban it. Banning WeChat in the U.S. could have far greater implications to cross-border business between Chinese and American companies, impacting everything from the manufacturing of medical face masks and Apple iPhones to the inking contracts of lawyers and bankers. In other words, you've got the lawyer lobbyists over here on, in the U.S. All right, so banning WeChat in the U.S. could have far greater implications to cross-border business between Chinese and American companies. <laughs> but, you know, China, any... All the Chinese stuff that's over here is got to go back over there. So, you know, and this is why Donald Trump don't want nothing to do with China because there are enemies right along with Iran, Iraq, and whatever else that countries that are over there. While WeChat is not popular in the U.S. as a customer messaging tool, the messaging app isn't just used to chat with friends and family. In China, it's virtually impossible to function without WeChat and is essentially used by businesses in the place of email and text message, which are not used as widely in China as they are in the U.S. Other messaging apps like Facebook, Inc., own WhatsApp, are blocked in China, making it harder 
to co communicate with overseas partners without WeChat. Yeah, so Facebook had blocked it um, on WhatsApp are blocked in China. So they're going to stay blocked over there. And of course it's making it harder to communicate with overseas partners without WeChat. Um, while WeChat is not popular in the U.S., and it's not because not a lot of people use WeChat, um, as a consumer messaging tool, the messaging app isn't just used to chat with friends and family. It's not, but I guess they use it for FaceTime or whatever else they use it for. In China, it's virtually impossible to function without WeChat and is, is essentially used by businesses in the place of email and text messages. Well, they better get used to the emails and text messages now because that's what China's gonna have to do is email and text message because WeChat and TikTok will be banned over here. And, and yes, Donald Trump did sign two executive orders to ban them out of the US. Um, so they're gonna have to figure something else out. They're going to have to take it out of the U.S., whether they like it or not. So this is exactly what's going to happen now, that it's going to be banned from the U.S. now. So so if you have it, get it off your phone because it will co it is collecting your personal data, literally. Leave your comments below. I am out.